Hello, and welcome back to the Bot Spot. Our next message in our Parts of Service series is on preaching. As one who has preached in the past, and if given a chance, will do so again, this is something very important to me. We preach because we have examples of such in a first century church, with the first being Peter's in Acts chapter 2. So what makes a preacher? The books of 1st and 2nd Timothy answer this question well, as the Apostle Paul wrote this to a young preacher at the time. So, the obvious first answer is one who preaches. 2nd Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 through 3. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and teaching. The second answer is, one who is able to use God's word accurately. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And third, one who is able to perform the three tasks found in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. A preacher must read the Bible continually to be able to exhort and teach using the doctrine. The preacher has a lot of responsibilities. It's not only a mental and emotional maturity that's needed, but a spiritual one too. Why? Because in 1 Timothy 4, verses 15 and 16, meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Preaching isn't something that you just dabble in. Because of its importance, you have to focus on it and be committed to doing it to the best of your ability 100% of the time. Preaching has so many rewards. With all the effort put into study and the challenge of teaching classes or others, your growth will be steady and encouraging to others. Finally, through your efforts, you'll realize the main goal of preaching that is saving souls. There are many purposes of worship, but one we must never forget is the endeavor to save souls. As such, when we preach, we must never take it lightly, nor can we leave any room for doubt. Now, you can tell a lot about a congregation by its preacher. If a preacher preaches in error, any church worthy of Christ's name will quickly replace him. The role of a preacher carries both honor and responsibilities. Honor comes when a preacher grows spiritually and uses that growth to bear fruit. Responsibility comes with nearly any aspect of preaching. Preaching in error may lead members away from the faith. Not being clear may lead members to an erroneous understanding of Scripture. Not being firm enough may lead others to take the same weak stance on things that the Bible directly condemns. There is a certain political incorrectness to preaching, as the Bible, especially in the modern world, is politically incorrect. A preacher must be ready to defend the Bible even in such a world. Thank you for your attention through this series on worship. The last is a clear follow-up to preaching, and one that should never be neglected, the invitation. Thank you so much for your attention.